Hazel Bishop makes the only one I know of real, real red. And you'll love Hazel Bishop's coral. It's the exciting shade to go with your new fall outfit. Be more kissable. And now, Jerry, I hope you'll give us a good, frank, honest opinion on every record you listen to tonight. Tell us, tell America, if you will. Will this first one be a hit or a miss? that record will be a hit or a miss let 200,000 be your yardstick on it 200,000 spike and just vote once I know you pretty well I know that was not Spike Jones music on that one so I'd give you did anyone by any chance recognize the band they're not very well known out here on the west coast but they're pretty well known in the middle west is Vince Fiorina Vince Fiorino and his orchestra on epic Oh, Lulu, Vince wrote it, too, along with a fellow by the name of Norwood. Uh, I don't know. I guess you'd call it a, an, an Afro-Cuban samba. I guess it was a samba. Wouldn't you, Ann? I certainly would. I think that's a real nervous song. I like it. <laughs> I, no, no, whoever wrote it covered the waterfront in it. In the first place, it's a new sound using a tuba in it. And I found it very haunting, and I liked it. Now... All hit songs seem to... Not all hit songs, that's too much of a generalization, but a lot of hit songs have a great deal of repetition, which they've done. Right. Now, if you notice songs that use girls' names or people's names, they catch on. <laughs> they have like 20 girls' names in this. They can't go wrong. You think there are 200,000 Lulus in you the country? You bet. There's Lulus, there's Sarys, there's Susas, there's Marys. He's got every name in this. I like it. I think it's good. I'm going to buy it. It's a very smart point she brought out in naming all the girls. It, it fits everybody like a Hazel Bishop lipstick. It... Whoa. Thank you very much. Well, there's not, there's not much use of us being around here. <laughs> Keith, what do you think about uh, old Lulu? Well, uh, I think the man played a crazy too, but that I'll, that I'll have to say. Could you add to it? <laughs> no, I'll tell you, I, uh, I uh, enjoyed it. I, I like to sit here listening. You know, it was great to beat it out and so forth. I think that's the one he plays with the valves. And uh, I, I, I wouldn't buy it. You wouldn't buy the record? No, I'd like to listen to it a, 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 a few times. I, 
uh, if Ann... No, it cured you up. You lit right up as soon as that Well, yeah, well, I, I bounce with those things, and, and you said that it's a real nervous record. If you're not nervous, this could make you nervous. <laughs> <laughs> that, that I can assure you. I, I sort of like the record, and I, I'd love to listen to it, and I definitely, uh, if I was in one of my, you know, really crazy moods, which I'm usually in, I would, I would put a few dimes in the jukebox, but I wouldn't buy the record. Thank you. Mary Small. Two dimes will make it about six times to play, hmm? Mm -hmm. A nickel a play. You see, they can do pretty well if you put dimes in all the time. Oh. I didn't nickel. get a, a Spanish feeling out of it. You can? No, not at all. It was a kind of uh, Ozark's Flight of the Bumblebee, in a way. <laughs> you remember the tuba? It was um, a great feat, musical feat. But for those of us who don't appreciate those uh, technical things, what it has, and I've got to disagree with Anne for a second, I think it appeals rhythmically which uh, lots of A&R men realize now is the thing. Mm -hmm. Appeal to the basis in us. Oh, tell them what A&R men mean, maybe. Oh, golly, we are being technical. Artist and repertory. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Manager in charge of. Mm -hmm. Artist and repertory. Those mm -hmm. who select the songs for the artist and select the artist to do the songs. They're the whole thing. Yeah, I dare say this fellow was an epic. Yes, it was. This uh, artist selected his own repertoire in this one. Mm -hmm. uh, no great thinking in it. I just think it's got a mighty good beat. If it gets exposure, it has as good a chance as anything, don't you think? Probably would help. And we're trying to give it a little exposure tonight. Mm -hmm. Brother Jones, I know you're not familiar with this type of music. This is high-class stuff. Yes, this is. Uh, you call that sound high-class, huh? Yes, what is your opinion of a well, tuba? A tuba player sounded like a trombone player playing trombone with his foot caught in the garbage disposal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we never made a sound like that. This but, is a, uh, a new sound. This, this could be real good, though. I voted it a hit, I'll tell you the truth, I did. Although I wouldn't buy the record, nor would I put... Uh, any money in the jukebox for it, but I did buy, uh, vote it a hit. I think it's a real, it's a real wild sound and real nice and rhythmic. I like it. Thank you very much, Spike. Count the ballots. See how you voted. I have a hit. I have a miss. I have a hit. And I have a hit. One, two, three hits and one miss. This was Old Lulu, Vince Fiorino on Epic. Be sentenced to a hit. She is? Yes. Well, why don't you bring her in? I know everybody would like to meet and greet my dear friend and one of America's premier recording artists, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Kay Starr. Hey, come on around here and sit for your pappy, will you? Oh, thank you. I'm sure, sure glad to see you. Well, you know what happened? What happened? I live so far out in the valley, and I yeah. got a package from home. So I decided since I got the goodies... And I ran up on a real good sale in green beans, put them up. Here's you some preserves. I was oh, going to bring you some homemade soap, but I figured I better not because it's made out of pork fat. This is wonderful, Kay. These are green beans canned down in Oklahoma. Darty, I guess. Preserves. And preserves down there. Bless you. There's someone else. Oh, I think this is great. You like it? You think Burl will ever know how to fix it? No, but I will, because uh, hog meat and green beans and stuff like that, I adore. Kay, that's as nice a Christmas present as you could give me. Hey, we made another of those, Kay. We could put them on at our market in La Crescenta, you know. Where's the camera? <laughs> you know, <laughs> in fact, we're stocking a wonderful gum called Kill Fill out there. Did I tell you about it? It destroys the effects of chlorophyll and restores your own breath. <laughs> <laughs> Shop and save market. Where'd the camera go again? The shop and save Are you on your way to deliver your Christmas <laughs> present? Yes. Is it, did you have something else? No. No. Oh, okay. Where was that market again? La Crescenta. Right La Crescenta. Don't get him started. You really own stock in it. Hey, what are you doing? Are you delivering Christmas presents? Yes, party? I am. As a matter of fact, I have my daughter with me. Is and, that uh, here? Yeah, she's... I, I wish she'd have brought her out here. I wish everybody could Well, she's standing her. around on the side. Do you want to come over here, sweetheart? You want to come over here? I'd like to have them meet little Kathy Kay's daughter. Come over, sweetheart. <laughs> Hi. How are you, hon? Merry Christmas to you. Yeah, I, I Little used to, girl, did you say? I know. <laughs> the last time I saw uh, you, my dear, I, I was uh, on the air and radio, and Kay brought, her, brought you over to the studio, and you sat there in my lap while I played your mother's records. Did you know that? Well, this so happened to be a fact, and Kay had made one, I'm the lonesomest gal in town. And there was another one or so. Was that the human thing to do? That's right. And, and things of that sort. Since then, uh, uh, everything has been wonderful for your mother and naturally for you, too. Well, we had a little trouble with our Christmas tree. We, uh, what happened? It all fell on our head. 
It no. Yeah, so we've got to disarrange the Christmas tree again now. And put all the ornaments back so we can't stay very long because we live so far out. You're so sweet in bringing me the preserves and the green beans. I, I was trying to think what I think you'd enjoy the most, Kay. And I couldn't come up with anything half as good as this Hazel Bishop uh, well, I know package you here. Very well. And here's your jewel lipstick and this complexion glow and nail polish and everything else inside there. And I know you'll have a Merry Christmas. We will indeed. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm something sorry else. I've intruded. Something else. Now, this is special. This is corn pone. <laughs> it's corn uh, pone cooked by my Aunt Dorothy down in Henrietta, <laughs> Oklahoma, and so help me, I wanted you to share it, and it'll last you two years. Well, thank you. They should have. <laughs> I was going to say they're making it a little big this year. They right? are, <laughs> hon, but that's it. Bye, thank Kathy. You very much. Merry Christmas to Merry, you. Merry, Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas to thank you, you, Kay. <laughs> so nice to have you with us. <laughs> what a big trip. There's a. A little girl who's who's recording, you know, for Capital, and when they make one of her records, they always print from 150,000 to 200,000 of them. One of the few people in the business who is so distinguished by that because she really sells them. Her Capital recording of Changing Partners is now one of Capital's big sellers. This gal is really dynamite on the cash register and selling records. Everybody knows that. Four weeks up at the Flamingo Spike. Four straight weeks, and great, too. Jam the place. Everybody. Are you ready? Listen to this one now. Listen to carefully, because this could... We're going to get back to records now. This is entirely a new subject for a, a woman to discuss. Tell me, will it be a hit or a miss? Oh, man, oh, a man, any woman will say Whatever he is, we like him that way a man is a creature we can't overlook As easy to read as a page in a book He'll boast and he'll brag of the women he spurned But just like a doorknob his head can be turned Uh-huh Uh-huh mm-hmm. Uh-huh As strong as an ox or as meek as a pup, he's just a small boy who will never grow up. A leader by day, he can make business hum, then wind up at night under some woman's thumb. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. A man, oh, a man, any woman will say Whatever he is, we like him that way Complains that he's henpecked and treated so bad But if he's ignored, then he'll holler like mad He knows all the methods of landing a fish but still can't be trusted at drying a dish. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh-huh. Right, all right. A man, oh, a man, any woman will say whatever he We like him that way. Right, mark your ballots, would you? Tell me whether it'll be a hit or a miss, if you will. 200,000 is a lot of records, but this little lady has made a lot of... Thank you, Susanne. She's made a lot of hit records in the past. Uh, did you recognize the vocalist by any chance, Spike? Did you? Rosemary, Rosemary Clooney? It was Rosemary Clooney, yes. Imagine. Rosemary with Norman Layden's music on Columbia, written mm-hmm. by McLean and Gleason. The subject was man. Yeah. Now... What did you think of it, Spike? Well, Pete, I think uh, going by the um, statistics that uh, girls, teenage girls, are supposed to buy, be the biggest record-buying public, the biggest percentage of them, it was a real good girl tune, a real good tune for girls. And then 
I think it would be a hit. Especially with those men doing it. Yeah. Did you agree? I think it'll go a couple hundred thousand, mercy. You do? Oh, yeah. Do you, you agree with what she said about the men? Well, no, I wasn't, no. <laughs> Except for when she got to the end. I see. But I don't buy many records. I'm going to get to a woman's point of view, Mary. Mary Small. Well, you know, a woman has to be a lady all the time, but I want to lecture. All right. Mr. Mitch Miller, uh, the man of the euphonious <laughs> name, Good erstwhile man. lecture, erstwhile oboe player, right. musical psychoanalyst, oh, first-nighter supreme. Now, Mitch Miller got a little desperate here. He threw in his old gimmick, the French horn, with which he introduced himself to us. Now... This particular record has got to make it, I imagine, because uh, he's in there pitching for Rosemary and her interest being, her heart and everything else, being in pictures at the moment. I mean, her mind and her spirit. Uh, perhaps she was, should I say this, perhaps she wasn't giving all of her time and effort to records. But this sounds like, well, we've got to get a hit record. And when Mitch sets his mind to it, he does it, don't you think? Yes, when Mitch wants to, he usually does it. He's yeah. a, quite a phenomenon in this business. Keith. Quite. Keith Brissell, what do you think of it? Well, uh, you remember you're talking to the men now. Go ahead. I'm talking to the men now. You betcha. Uh, I uh, happen to like everything that uh, Rosemary Clooney does. Uh, this, this to me is not uh, the type of Rosemary Clooney record that I like to listen to. I, I think the uh, lyrics are, are very, very clever. I, I think they're cute. If they had that skip to go along with them, <laughs> uh, along with the playing, it would probably be a big hit. However, I think, uh, like any special material piece that's cute, after you hear it once or twice, it has limited value. So, uh, consequently, I, I don't think it'll, uh, it'll sell 200,000. However, I do like it. I do like her as a recording artist. And I, I would play it once, but that would be it. Once, that'd be it. That's it. Well, I'm going to go see you when your uh, Eddie Cantor story <laughs> premieres out here in Hollywood on December 29th. Uh, it's at 23rd at the Paramount Theater in New York. That's well, when they premiere the Eddie Cantor story that's because, it. ladies and gentlemen, Keith Brissell plays Eddie Cantor in the life of Eddie Cantor, the story of Eddie Cantor. It's a big thrill to play him, too. I imagine it would be because he's a great person, oh he's boy, and he stood right here on the program and told us what a wonderful performance you'd given in that film. Well, uh... Pete, like, I remember a program that you had, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but you used to try to help uh, new songwriters. Yeah, Search for a Song. Search for a Song. I used to watch it all the time. Well, like, you used to uh, help new songwriters plug new songs. That's what this guy does for new talent. He's always plugging new talent. He's always discovering a pretty great guy. I think so, too. Annie, what did you think of man? Well, I know what you think of man, but what did you think of the record? <laughs> well, uh, actually, my, my candid opinion about the record is that I, I like, I think Rosie, Rosemary Clooney has, has great heart and great warmth and a wonderful voice, and I think it's a, it's a great pity to, to have it wasted on some, something that's sort of like Adeline's or Adelaide's Lament from Guys and Dolls. I think it's an entertaining piece. I like to hear it once. But I don't think it's a thing that'll cause all those clinkings of the money in the jukebox because most of those are things that you want to listen to in sort of a dreamy mood with your fellow or music that you'd like to dance to. And this is something, it's one big complaint, you know. It isn't a cozy up like Come On to My House, which was very enticing and was so Rosemary Clooney. I, I think it's nice. I'll listen to it once. I, I just Would don't you buy it? I don't think. Well, I might if somebody in my house got reckless. Mm -hmm. I have two hits and two misses on this. Two hits and two misses. I have a tie jury. The grand jury decides it with their applause. I, I hope, I hope you're all listening. A man, but Rosemary Clooney. You just heard one side. Will you hear the other? If you think that record will be a miss, would you kindly applaud right now? If you think it will be a hit, will you applaud right now? According to the grand jury, the people who buy them, Rosemary Clooney's man on Columbia, be sentenced to a hit. You know, folks, a lot of people agreed. You know, before the show, one of the girls here in the audience was telling me what a big hit Hazel Bishop Polish had made with her. I'd like you to meet her. This is Bonnie Brown. Hi, Bonnie. Hello, Bob. You're a secretary, aren't you? Yes, I am. But I guess I have two jobs. I also keep house for my husband. Well, I guess you're... Uh, your fingernails take quite a beating then, pounding a typewriter all day long and then having to do dishwashing and cleaning at home, huh? They certainly do. I used to put my nail polish on one day and it was all chipped off the next. 
Well, uh, I understand that you bought your Hazel Bishop polish about two weeks ago. How would it work out? Well, just look at my hands. You know, I did my nails last Sunday, uh -huh. and I haven't touched them since. It's wonderful. You know, it's a little over a week, and, well, there's not a chip anywhere. Your hands look very beautiful, uh, Bonnie. Well, thank you very much for visiting thank with you, us. Thank you, Bob. And there you are, girls. You've just heard uh, Mrs. Bonnie Brown tell you how Hazel Bishop long-lasting polish stays on beautifully from one week to the next. And here's the reason why. It's made with an exclusive new ingredient that resists hard knocks, even when you pound a typewriter and defies hot soapy water, even harsh detergents. So girls, be smart. Get Hazel Bishop long-lasting nail polish. You'll find it stays on three to five days longer than any you've ever used or your money back. Are you ready? Now, you heard about man. Now, listen to woman. A different subject, just as potent. Tell me, will it be a hit or a miss? Oh, woman, no oh, woman, no oh, what can she be? Whatever she is, she's necessary. A woman is something both evil and good But too complicated to be understood An angel when loving, a devil when mad A woman can make you both happy and sad mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She be whatever she is, she's necessary. Afraid of a cricket, she'll scream at a mouse, but she'll tackle a husband as big as a house. She'll take him for better, she'll take him for worse. She'll bust his head open and then be his nurse. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. she be whatever she is she's necessary she's bashful deceitful keen-sighted and blind simple and crafty and cruel and kind in the morning she does in the evening she don't you're always a thinking she will but she won't uh-uh Did you recognize who was singing it? No? All I can say is two, <laughs> two beards are better than one. That was Jose Ferrer, Rosemary's husband, of course, and uh, Mr. and Mrs. Ferrer on that record. Rosemary Clooney on one side, Jose on the other. He gave his opinion of, about woman. Would you vote it a hit or a miss, Anne? Uh, well, I, you, you know something you just told me? I voted a hit. It has a country <laughs> folks that like to swing, and I'm hearing it the second time. It sort of gets under your skin, and maybe I liked it because it was about women. You like the idea. You're yeah, confident. all of us, I've changed my mind. I hate myself. <laughs> Keith, what do you think? I'd like to reverse myself completely after hearing this side of it. I think the other side's going to be hit. I think this side's going to be hit. I like it very, very much. <laughs> See, it's a two-sided record, man. Very woman. Much it's very right. unusual. Uh, Mary. Can't miss. Can't miss. You can't miss out at the Macombo, dear. They really love you out there. And I'm, Thank you. I'm so happy your, your husband's had two great songs on the Jones Boy, and that's what a rainy day is for. With, with all of your help now, Pete. Well, they liked him, so that's that's good, honey. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Well, I agree it's with the. Let's take time back with some more preserves. <laughs> oh, it's time for a recess, Spike. So I have three, one, two, three hits and one miss. Did you like it? No, he didn't. <laughs> I have three hits and one miss for the record. Uh, we're going to pause briefly while other stations join us. But in the meantime, I hope that you'll always be listening when you hear this hit song. You'll keep 
K-I-S-S, kissable, your life will be more kissable. Your kiss is more persistable when you're a Hazel Bishop girl. The Peter Potter Show, direct from Hollywood, continues in just a moment over most of these stations. This is ABC Television Network. <laughs> 